Hello friends, welcome back to Dads Data Analytics Talks. Today I am going to talk on Power BI Report Builder. Few of you already might know about what is Power BI Report Builder and how to use Power BI Report Builder. Yes, this is not a Power BI Report Builder hands-on session. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see when I can use Power BI Report Builder and when I can use Power BI Desktop. Let us dive into the topic. Microsoft Power BI is a powerful business intelligence tool that provides various options to create and share interactive reports and dashboards. However, with so many different tools available within Power BI, it can be challenging to determine which one to use for your specific needs. In this talk, I will compare Power BI Report Builder and Power BI Desktop, two commonly used tools within Power BI. Our question is whether to go for Power BI Desktop or Power BI Report Builder. Let's see. Here, I am trying to focus on feature comparison in terms of data sources, visuals and interactivity, reporting types and ease of use. Now, you will have a naturally a question whether the Microsoft Power BI Report Builder and the Report Builder are one and the same. I can say they are not. Why? Power BI Report Builder is a tool for authoring paginated reports that you can publish to the Power BI service. Of course, the Power BI service in cloud. While Report Builder is a standalone tool to design reports for SQL Server Reporting Services, that is SSRS. SSRS. So there are differences between Power BI Report Builder and Report Builder. So first. The main difference between the two is that the report builder you can deploy the reports to a on-premise Power BI report server but with Power BI report builder you can currently publish the report to a workspace in Power BI service that is backed by premium or pro capacity. Let me quickly take you to a Power BI desktop dashboard which is already developed and this is not developed by me and it's downloaded from Intranet. As a sample and you can see a lot of interaction right so I can choose a product code automatically the data gets filtered I can choose another one and even I can choose the region and that causes all the visuals to be filtered and you know I can see the tooltips everywhere so, a lot of interactions are possible in a Power BI Desktop. So, what is a Power BI Desktop? A Power BI Desktop is a window-based application that provides more advanced reporting capabilities compared to Report Builder. We will come to Report Builder very soon. Power BI Desktop allows you to create interactive reports and dashboards that can be viewed on desktop and mobile. So, both desktops and mobile is being supported by this Power BI Desktop. With the desktop, you can connect to various data sources. One of our Power BI section, we have explained like how to connect to various sources. So, Power BI can, you can connect to various data sources, transform model data, create calculator columns and meshes, and add custom visuals using Power BI Marketplace. Okay, if you need more, you can even go to the get more visual option and you can get additional visuals from the Microsoft Marketplace also. See, according to your needs, you can choose from many visuals that is being hosted by Microsoft as well as other third party organizations. So you can also publish your report to Power BI service and share them with others. So this is being developed in desktop so same thing i can publish to um, power bi service and uh, you can share with your colleagues or your friends or uh, other team members okay, that is what is about power bi desktop now we will see power bi report builder 2 
let me show you a couple of reports being generated by power bi report builder so this is one of them it is a country sales performance again this is a sample from microsoft site and you can see how beautifully we can create a report using this report builder it has proper header and can have a logo you can have the matrix or table and uh, this is all conditional formatted and you can have a proper footer as well similar thing we can have another invoice as well so you can show the invoice total and the items and a footer and disclaimer everything can be possible with a power bi paginator report and it is also allowing you to filter and uh, you can pass parameters and you can view a different reports based on the parameter value so this is very flexible in terms of the printability so what is our understanding about power bi report builder power bi report builder is a web based tool that allows you to create paginated reports that are optimized for printing or generating pdf it provides a drag and drop interface for adding tables matrix list chart gauge map data bar then indicators and many more other visuals to your report with the report builder you can connect to a wide range of data sources you can connect to power bi data set dataverse azure sql database azure synapse services azure synapse SQL Server, Analysis Server, Oracle, Teradata, ODBC. A wide range of data sources can be connected to Power BI Report Builder. And I apply filters and parameters and customize report layouts and styles. You can also publish your report to Power BI service and share it with others. So the question about the data refresh. Power BI report provides snapshot of the current state of the data to stakeholders while Power BI desktop is an interactive reporting solution that allows for rich data modeling and building complex formulas for data analysis. Now let's compare the two tools based on different parameters. Let's start with the data sources. Both report builder and desktop support a wide range of data sources including Excel, SQL Server, Oracle and others. However, desktop provides more advanced data modeling capabilities such as creating relationship between tables, applying data transformation and using DAX formula. Come to the visuals and interactivity. Report Builder provides basic visuals such as tables, matrix and charts but it lacks advanced visualizations and interactive features. Desktop on the other hand provides a vast library of visuals and ability to create custom visuals using the Power BI marketplace. It also allows for advanced interactivity such as drill down, drill through and cross filtering. Then coming to the reporting types. Report Builder is designed specifically for creating paginated reports which are optimized for printing or generating PDF. Desktop on the other hand provides more flexibility in terms of creating different types of reports including interactive dashboards, paginated reports and mobile reports. So the last one, ease of use. The report builder has a simple drag and drop interface that is easy to use for creating basic reports. Desktop on the other hand requires more advanced skills for data modeling, creating calculations and designing complex reports. In conclusion, both Power BI Report Builder and Power BI Desktop are powerful tools for creating reports and dashboards. The choice between the two depends on your specific reporting requirement, data modeling skills and level of interactivity needed. If you need to create paginated report for printing or generating PDF, then Report Builder is the best option. Just like this, if you want to print this report or generate PDF, then Power BI Report Builder is the best option.
However, if you need to create interactive dashboards, exploring data relationship, and use advanced visualization, then Power BI Desktop is the way to go. I am sure that you are in a position to decide whether to go for Power BI Desktop or Power BI Report Builder by now. So naturally, you may ask the license requirement. The license requirement for Power BI Page Generator Report or .rdl files are the same as for the Power BI Reports or Power BI Desktop, which is .pbix files. You don't need a license to download Power BI Report Builder from Microsoft Download Center. With a free license, you can publish Page Generator Report to My Workspace in the Power BI service. With a Power BI Pro license or a PPU license, you can publish Paginated report to other workspaces. You also need at least a contributor role in the workspace to publish your report. With that, I would like to close this talk. We will have another talk where we will show how to create a Paginated report using Power BI Report Builder. Thank you for being with me. If you have any suggestions, or recommendations regarding this particular video please share your comments thank you